Available on any device with an internet connection and compatibility with your existing SOLIDWORKS workflows, X-Shape is a tool every product designer should have in their toolbox. Here, we are easily able to access and import our SOLIDWORKS model directly into 3D Sculptor for reference. We control the subdivided primitive by increasing or decreasing the number of looped edges around this model and using the robot manipulator to stretch, pivot, or tilt the selections. And the crease tool allows us to flatten out some of these C2 tangencies. The quick align tool allows us to influence a selection of entities with a sketch. And the ever-present robot is used for fine tuning. You'll get used to him. You can add geometry much like dropping on a blob of clay. Pick a face and hit extrude. Other faces will manipulate with the robot while the remaining geometry maintains its tangency. And of course, symmetry is a great way to maximize your productivity. As we uncrease, the tangency improves. And a few more selective pushes and pulls of the robot, and our shape is really starting to take effect. This repetitive fine tuning is much why X shape is so easy to learn. Now we'll subdivide a few other faces in preparation for a whole cut through. And with that, our shape is really looking great. Now let's check in with Don, who's using SOLIDWORKS Desktop connected to the 3D Experience platform. He wants to see how the body design is going and can easily access the data through the cloud using the SOLIDWORKS task pane. As we insert the body from X shape, you can see how it aligns with the rest of the SOLIDWORKS native geometry. With the thrusters newly added, Don wants to let Dan know exactly what needs to happen to the body design in order to accommodate. We need an area for a hatch and for two thrusters on each side. And accessing 3D Swim through our community in the task pane is an easy way to communicate. In the meantime, he continues the design by modifying the X-shape native geometry and adding SOLIDWORKS features like shells and cuts. When the X-shape data updates, so will his features. Back on the 3D Experience platform, Dan gets the update and sees how the SOLIDWORKS data aligns with his body design. And the quick notes that Don provided will be key to a quick update. Having access to the same exact design tree that was created in SOLIDWORKS is also key to this communication. Dan's gonna go ahead and create an ordered geometrical set. This will enable him to be ultra flexible as he creates the channels for these thrusters, as well as the hatch on top. Using familiar tools like convert entities, he can reference the edges of the SOLIDWORKS geometry in his X-shaped design. He then subdivides the top with a localized group of entities. Now magically, the align to curve command will take care of the rest. Here, taking one loop and referencing another. Just awesome. As we switch to the cage view, we can fine tune the alignment because it's much more apparent at which faces aren't blending smooth. These adjustments are a lot like mates in SOLIDWORKS just to add a little bit of familiarity to it. Coincident faces flatten them out. And strategic selection allows us to add some alignment and thoughtful selection on the robot enables us to keep alignment by grabbing the web instead of an axis. Finally, let's add some geometry to represent the channels we'll need for our thrusters. Using the same techniques and some additional primitives, we'll push and pull until we have about what we want. With both channel concepts created, we can use simple Boolean techniques to subtract them from the main body. With changes are only constant, we're set up for a little more fine tuning as we need to adjust the orientation of the vertical thruster. By accessing one of the bodies in another familiar workflow, we'll make some changes to the length and depth of this thruster opening. And as we rebuild and roll these changes through the design tree, we will immediately see our results. Perfect. This is a truly innovative approach to industrial design and really just a lot of fun. As our new body design in X shape gets updated back in SOLIDWORKS, we can complete the design with a multi-body master model technique. The seamless integration of X-Shape with SOLIDWORKS gets this job done right.